The destruction of the planet today is a, a reality. And of course, there are people who are doing it. We're putting the world at risk, killing people, destroying habitat, destroying environment. Our crimes, they, they definitely are crimes. Va a faltar alimentos. Va a haber sequías, se van a secar ríos, se van a, a, va a haber inundaciones. We have to take care of Mother Earth, but it, because on that way we will take care of ourselves, or our future, and of our children. Aquí es el encuentro de todos los pueblos del continente. En otros espacios, en otros COP, solo se juntan los gobiernos y los grandes poderosos del país. Aquí está la población de, las, de, todo, de todo el mundo, pero que representa el sentir del pueblo. The main problem is that the Western countries see nature as separate from human beings. We see it as a holistic process. We have Pachamama, our Mother Earth, and we are only one with the Mother Earth. We are not different. We are part of Mother Earth. And of course, if you do harm to Mother Earth, you are harming yourself. There is, of course, an institution of the United Nations about climate, but they have absolute no, absolutely no juridical uh, power. What has been done is almost nothing. <laughs> there, you see, of course, we had the, f the failure of, of Copenhagen, and now we, we try to do something uh, in Cancun. Uh, but uh, the, the, the United Nations have not the real instrument to have a, an international policy. It depends very much from the individual states and the powerful state can change the whole orientation of the policy. So if we can have permanent instrument uh, obliging the states to respect some norms, that would be another situation. This is a possibility because it exists in the United Nations. There are two international tribunals there are some other tribunals which are specific, for example, for Rwanda about uh, genocide, etc. And there are also some other international tribunals like the European Court for Human Rights or the Inter-American Court for Human Rights. So it is already a tradition in the United Nations to establish tribunals. If somebody sets fire to a forest, they're prosecuted. If somebody burns a forest and someone dies as a result of that fire, they're prosecuted for murder. In Bhopal and other uh, environmental uh, disasters, that never came about. They never put the criminals in jail. It's, it's not just a matter of punishing the guilty, but it's demonstrating to, to those potentially guilty that it, it, crime doesn't pay and that they can go to jail. Criminals go to jail, and the more gigantic the crime, the more jail time they should get. These are billion dollar profit corporations. So they can act with impunity and pay the fine whenever they get caught. Whenever there's a political will of a state, a country, a government to prosecute them for their crime, they pay out, they get off with a fine. And the, the whole purpose of tribunals, whether it be petty theft or Bhopal, India, is to keep them from doing those things, is to say, if you do these things, you will go to jail. There are boards of directors that made the decisions to go do these things. There are managers that are responsible. We have uh, precedents to, to put these guys in jail. But it, it takes the state, it takes a political will to prosecute criminals. And then there is no political will to prosecute criminals in that context today. Lo que pasa en los países del norte todavía, en muchos de los uh, pueblos, en muchas de las 
de los países aún no sufren el efecto, pero ya va a llegar el efecto de aquí a cinco a tres años, pongamos, muchos países van a estar desesperados por, el, por lo que la tierra responde a ellos, entonces hay para ya arreglar, eh, remediar sería muy, muy tarde, por eso es que estamos empujando desde ahora para que los países respeten a la madre tierra. Thank you.